Now we will see. Protocol for orbital sinus blood sample collection. Requirements include the Wistar rat or Sprague Dawley rat anesthetic agents such as methyl ether, isofluorin, and halothane, induction chambers, cotton, capillary tube and blood sample collection tubes. This technique is used with recovery in experimental circumstances and is also called periorbital, posterior orbital, retroorbital and orbital venous plexus bleeding. It is performed as a terminal procedure to collect large volumes of blood sample. Usually, short-time general anesthesia is preferable while adapting this technique. The animal is anesthetized with a general anesthetic agent slash gaseous anesthetic agent such as rapid onset, short acting or slow onset, long acting. Ensure the level of anesthesia by checking loss of writing reflex. If animal shows any writing reflex it indicates that the animal is not in complete anesthesia. To avoid post-experimental pain to the animal, small amount of topical ophthalmic anesthetic agent is applied to the eye before bleeding. The rat is restrained. Neck gently scruffed with thumb and forefinger of the non-dominant hand and the skin around the eyes pulled taut. A capillary is inserted into the medial canvas of the eye using dominant hand. Slight thumb pressure is enough to puncture the tissue and enter the plexus. Once the plexus is punctured, blood will flow through the capillary tube. When the required volume of blood is collected from the plexus, the capillary tube is gently removed and wiped with sterile cotton. Bleeding can be stopped by gently applying finger pressure for approximately 30 seconds. 30 minutes after blood collection, the animal is checked for postoperative and periorbital lesions. Now we see. Blood sample collection from rat orbital sinus using right predominant hand. Now we see. Blood sample collection from rat orbital sinus using left predominant hand. 